Hello, you are welcome to solve for x here. Let's take 100 to this side. Then this become x raised to power 3 minus x square and minus 100 now equals to 0 on this side. Then here, by inspection, the factor of 100 that we make this expression to be equals to 0 is 5. So when we substitute x equals to 5 here, this will become 5 raised to power 3 minus 5 square minus 100. And here, this is equals to 0 from here because here we have 125 minus 25, which is 100, then minus 100, which is equals to 0. So 0 here equals to 0 here. Then since we have x equals to 0 as one of the roots here, it implies that x minus 5 is a factor here. Then we need to get the other factor from here, which will be a quadratic factor of this polynomial. Then here let's use synthetic division to find the other factor. So here we have the coefficient of the power of 3 here to be 1, power of 2 here to be minus 1, then power of 1, that's 0. So we have 1 minus 1, 0. Then the constant is minus 100. Then when we divide, using synthetic division, we divide by 5. Then the step here, the first thing is to draw this first number here, which is 1. Then 5 times 1 here, still 5. Then we sum this, minus 1 plus 5, give us 4. Then we multiply again, 5 times 4, that's 20 here. Then we sum this, 0 plus 20, that's 20. Then we have 20 times 5, 5 times 20, that's 100. Then when we sum this, minus 100 plus 100, that gives us 0. So the remainder here is 0, confirm that 5 is a factor here. Then the quadratic factor that is left here, we have this coefficient of 1, 4, and 20. So we have x squared, then plus 4x plus 20 as the other factor here. So it implies that we have now the polynomial become x minus 5, then multiply by x squared plus 4x plus 20 now equals to 0 from here. Now it implies we have x minus 5 equals to 0 and also here we have x square plus 4x plus 20 then equals to 0 from here and on this side when we solve here we have x equals to 5 which is a real solution here now when we solve this here a is 1 the coefficient of x square b is 4 and c is 20. Now using the formula, we have x here equals to minus b, that will be minus 4, then plus or minus square root of b square, that's 4 square, then minus 4a is 1, then c is 20, then over 2a, that's 2 times 1. You are watching Master T Math class. Please subscribe to my channel and give it a thumbs up if you enjoy this class. Thank you. Then here, this becomes x equals to minus 4 plus or minus. Here we have root 4 square here as 16. Then minus 4 times 1 times 20 give us minus 80. Then over 2. Then when we solve for that, here we have x now equals to minus 4 plus or minus root minus 64 here, then over 2.
Then here, root minus 64, same thing as root 64 times root minus 1. And here, root minus 1 here is same thing as i. So that we have x here will now be equals to minus 4 plus or minus root 64 here we have 8. Then root minus 1 we have i. Then over 2. Then here, 2 is common up here. So we factor it out. We have x now equals to 2 into bracket. Here we have minus 2 left. Then plus or minus, we have 4 i left here. Then over 2. Here, 2 we cancel each other. Then here we have x now equals to minus 2 plus or minus 4i. Here we have two complex solutions from here. So altogether we have three solutions. We have one solution x equals to 5 and uh, two complex which is x equals to minus 2 plus 4i and also x equals to minus 2 minus 4i. Thank you for watching. Don't forget these steps. Subscribe to my channel and turn on the description bell. See you next class. And bye for now.